welcome to Starry Time. I'm Miss Amelia, and tonight I want to thank you guys for joining me here in the Helen Gale Story Time Room. I have a very special story time tonight. I don't know if you guys know this, but on Friday, April 22nd, it's something special called Earth Day. And the next Friday after that, on Friday, April 29th, it's something called Arbor Day. You guys know what Arbor means? Hmm. It's another word for tree. It's a tree day. So we have a day coming up to celebrate Earth Day, and we have a day coming up to celebrate trees. So tonight, for our story time, I thought I would read some good books about trees. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm pretty excited too. <laughs> so let's get started with our hello song. Ready? You say hello, and I'll say hello, and we'll say hello together. You say hello, and I'll say hello in warm or wintry weather. Good job, you guys. Good job. All right, let's get started with our first book. It's a little funny, and it's called Oh, I'm going to read it on this side. It's called When a Tree Grows by Kathy Balumili, and it's illustrated by Kasia Nowoyeska. All right. When a Tree Grows. When a tree grows in the forest, two things could happen. It becomes a scratching post for moose's itchy antlers. Ugh. And the tree sways gently side to side. Or, look down here. It says one of two things could happen. Or, what do you guys think could happen? Crash! Boom! Hmm. Moose pushes a little too hard. The tree falls on a cave, and the bear inside wakes up. Oh. When a bear in a cave wakes up, Two things can happen. He rolls over and falls back to sleep. Hmm. Or, right down here in the page it says, or, if he doesn't roll over and fall back to sleep, he, roar, bear stomps outside. Huh. When bear stomps outside, two things can happen. Bright sun! He squints and stumbles back into the cave. Or, what do you think? Bump, thump! Oh man, he plows into Moose and sends Moose stumbling off the road, or into the road. Oh my gosh. When Moose stumbles into the road, two things can happen. He gets ah, safely to the other side. We can see that here. Or, let's see what else could happen. Screech, thud. Oh, a truck swerves around Moose and lands in a ditch. Oh, well, when a truck lands in a ditch, two things can happen. We know that now, right? Squirrel pelts the truck with acorns until it drives away. See, Squirrel? He's got a little slingshot. He's saying, don't stay here. Right? Or, let's see what else could happen. <gasps> Yippee yummy! It's a nifty nuts truck. Squirrel leaps on board. When Squirrel leaps on board, only one thing can happen. Vroom, vroom! What do you think that means? Yeah. Squirrel is off to the big city. When Squirrel is off to the big city, two things can happen. He gets a job at Nifty Nuts as a quality control inspector. Look at this picture. He gets to eat all the nuts to make sure they still taste good. That sounds like a good job for him. He could do that. Or, we see it down in the corner here. Slam click. Oh, he's all alone. 
with no place to go. Hmm. When Squirrel is alone with no place to go, two things can happen. He is discovered by a talent scout and becomes the star of the stage and screen. Or, let's see what could happen next. He looks like a superhero there. Snuffle sniff. He feels homesick. He sees this big billboard and it says, visit State Park. Does that look like his friend? When Squirrel feels homesick, two things can happen. He starts saving money for a bus ticket. What is he diving into? A fountain at the park. People usually throw pennies in there. That's why he's got his money stacked up. He could save for a bus ticket or... Scribble scratch, scribble scratch. He writes a letter to Moose. When Moose gets a letter, two things can happen. He doesn't know what it is, so he eats it. So he's eating it there. Or, <gasps> zoom, zoom, he races to the city to bring Squirrel home. And when Moose brings Squirrel home, only one thing can happen. <gasps> hooray, hooray! Moose and Bear throw a welcome home party with an all-you-can-eat acorn bar. Look at all those acorns. They miss their friends. And when Squirrel celebrates an all-you-can-eat acorn bar, two things can happen. Squirrel eats every last acorn. Or munch scoop plop. Squirrel eats just the biggest acorn. Then he plants the rest and they grow into a forest. Do you see all the acorns he's planting everywhere? He's doing a good job. He plants them in a forest just right for sharing with his friends. Look at all his friends in the forest there. What a good friend, Squirrel. The end. I thought that one was a little silly. Only two things can happen. <laughs> I have a little poem about a tree and we can do some actions with it, like a little action rhyme. And then I've got our last book. So here's something real quick. It says, once I was a seed and I was small, small, small. Can you guys do that with your hands? Small, small. But I grew into a tree and now I'm tall, tall, tall. Oh my gosh, you guys grow tall. My branches sway in the breeze so soft. And when it's autumn, all my leaves fall off. Autumn is another word for fall. <laughs> Good job, you guys. And that reminds me, I had to look it up. I learned the sign, the sign language for tree. If you put your arm flat like this, like this is the ground, and you can put your arm, your elbow resting right on your hand, and you just turn your hand like it's a tree waving in the breeze. Pretty cool, right? I go like the tree. I liked that one. All right, now for our last book. It's called The Belonging Tree by Marianne Coca Leffler and illustrated by Christine A. Lombardi. The Belonging Tree. Life was fine and dandy in the big oak tree on Forest Lane 
Squirrels lived up. See them up here? And squirrels lived down. All the squirrels. Go. And in the middle lived the gray squirrel family. Pa and Ma and little Zeke. Everyone played together, worked together, and ate together. I love family dinner. The neighborhood was just the way it should be. Coo -coo -caw! Until summer arrived. And so did a family of birds. Ugh, there goes the neighborhood, said Pa. Those blue jays are bossy and noisy. Mm, and their shrieking songs are driving me crazy, said Ma. Oh, it's so loud. Mm. But I like their singing, said Zeke. Some people really like bird songs. Pa and Ma stuffed the walls with moss and oak leaves to block out the noise. Blue Jays don't belong here. Do not disturb. Hmm. Hmm. Soon, autumn arrived. There's that word again. Another word for fall. Soon, autumn arrived. And so did a family of chipmunks. Bitter patter, chitter chatter. Oh, there goes the neighborhood, said Pa. Chipmunks steal acorns. Oh, and they have lots of crying babies, said Ma. But I love babies, said Zeke. I'm with you, buddy. I love babies, too. <laughs> He's playing with all of them. Pa and Ma spent all day hoarding a winter's worth of acorns. They hid them high up in the attic. Chipmunks don't belong here. Oh, they put up a sign now that said, stay out. Hmm, does Zeke look happy? Mm -hmm. He likes all the people moving in, doesn't he? Winter arrived. The birds flew south and the chipmunks burrowed underground. The neighborhood was once again just the way it should be, according to Zeke's parents. Do not disturb. Stay out. He thinks, quiet. And Ma thinks, safe. But Zeke down here, you know what he thought? Boring. Where's all his friends? Hmm? Until spring arrived. And so did the Blue Jays, the chipmunks, and a family of split, crack, splash. What are these animals? Beavers, cheered Zeke. Ugh. Don't be so excited. Beavers are the worst neighbors of all, said Pa. They'll gnaw and chew and destroy everything, said Ma, even the oak trees. But they build amazing structures, said Zeke. They really do. Hmm. Birds, chipmunks, now beavers? I don't think we belong here, said Pa. That night, Pa, Ma, and Zeke packed up everything they owned and moved to a maple tree, an old maple tree on the other side of the river. Huh. Hmm. The Gray family settled into their new home. <gasps> Look, Zeke. There are lots of squirrels here, just like you, said Ma. Go up and play. Look at Zeke right there. Does he look like he wants to go play? 
No. He's really sad. Instead, Zeke looked across the river and heard the blue jays singing, the baby chipmunks crying, and the beavers building. Zeke missed his friends. That night, Zeke decided to go and visit the oak tree. Slowly, he made his way, carefully balancing on the branches as he crossed the river below. But suddenly, the sky got dark. Down came the rain, down came the hail. Ooh, there's a big storm. Uh-oh, crash! Down came the old maple tree. Help, help, help! Uh-oh, his family needs help. Let's see what's gonna happen. <gasps> Just then, two blue jays appeared and they lifted Zeke into the sky and carried him to safety. Down river, the beavers quickly got to work building a dam that rescued Ma and Pa. That's amazing. Their structure was able to save Zeke's parents. And back at the oak tree, the chipmunks met them with dry leaves and warm acorn soup. It's a party for them to come back. And it says, welcome home. Look at how happy everyone is to have this gray squirrel family back. Life is now fine and dandy in the big oak tree on Forest Lane. Blue Jays live up, chipmunks and beavers live down, and in the middle, lives the gray squirrel family, Ma, Pa, and little Zeke. Everyone plays together, works together, and eats together. And the neighborhood is just the way it's supposed to be. Look at how happy everybody is. It really is the way it's supposed to be. Everybody gets along. There's room for everybody, isn't there? And right here it says, everyone is welcome. That's a much better sign. I like that one the best. And again, look at how happy everyone is. The end. That was a great book about the belonging tree, right? Here's our sign for tree. I hope you guys enjoyed all of our stories tonight. And don't forget on Friday, April 22nd, it's Earth Day. And Friday, April 29th is Arbor Day. Love the earth, love the trees. Let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song, okay? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Everybody give yourself a big hug. Night-night. Mm. Sweet dreams. See you next time.